Oh, yeah, episode 80 of One Man's Opinion. Today I will be discussing Westport Country Playhouse's production of the Fat Swaller Review, Ain't Misbehavin', directed by Jeffrey L. Page and running through April 29th at Westport Country Playhouse at 25 Powers Court in Westport, Connecticut. This production of Ain't Misbehavin' is a co-production with Barrington Stage in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and the Jiva Theatre Center in Rochester, New York, and overall, it's an excellent show. Thomas Wright Fatswaller died at the young age of 39 in 1943, but in the 25 years that he was active as a musician, he became one of the greatest jazz composers of all time with classic songs like Ain't Misbehavin', Honeysuckle Rose, and Black and Blue, having found their way into the Great American Songbook. In 1978, the musical review Ain't Misbehavin', conceived by Richard Maltby Jr. and Murray Horvitz, opened on Broadway, running 1,604 performances nearly four years. The musical features a septet of talented musicians under the leadership of pianist and music director Terry Bogart and a quintet of vocalists, Maya Bass, Paris Bennett, Jay Copeland, Judith Franklin, and Will Stone. Looking at their bios, three of the five performers come from a vocal competition background like American Idol and X Factor. It makes sense to do this as the focus of the show is more toward elevating the music vocally than acting, and as far as voices go, the cast doesn't disappoint. All five are powerhouses and present Waller's music with the respect it's due. With this production, the second act is stronger than the first, as the first act definitely had a negative effect on some of the audience members as a couple next to me left during intermission. I can understand why people may leave the show. Uh, There's no book, no story to the musical, and maybe Fat Swaller isn't your style of music. But frankly, these are things you should know before seeing Ain't Misbehavin'. So if musical reviews and Harlem Stride Jazz isn't your thing, then this just isn't your show, and I respect that. I do think that What the show could have benefited from was maybe a little narrative by the cast members, giving a brief couple lines of the history of Waller here and there to maybe give context to the songs. As much as I enjoy his music, I have liked to learn more about the man behind it. There are many elements that make Ain't Misbehavin' so much fun, though. The song selections and locations in the set list create a balance of jazzy dance songs, powerhouse ballads, hysterical comic pieces, and a moment or two here and there of real depth and humanity. Judith Franklin does a wonderful rendition of Keeping Out of Mischief Now. Will Stone rolls through the hysterical Your Feet's Too Big, and Maya Bass and Paris Bennett are a delightful comic duo in Find Out What They Like. Copeland, though, is the one who brings down the house with the electric The Viper's Drag, the reefer song. He strides across the stage with a seductive glee throughout the number. I love Raul Abrego's Art Deco set design, particularly the little touches of the buildings as part of the dressing for the band's music stands. And the bars on either side of the stage create an atmospheric location for the cast to retreat to when they're not the focus of the number but still need to be on stage. Oana Botez's costumes are awesome. I love the suits and dresses that the cast come out in at the start of the second act for spreading rhythm around. And Philip Rosenberg has some fantastic lighting moments, particularly in the transition from the hysterical Fat and Greasy, led by Stone and Copeland, into the somber and sober black and blue that all five performers sing. Though Ain't Misbehavin' has no book, I'm fine without it. Like I said, there are a few things I would have liked to have thrown in there to give it a bit more color and story. But this is music that I've loved for most of my life. I almost wish Westport went full out and ripped out all of the seats and turned a theater into a Harlem nightclub with cabaret tables and cocktails being served throughout the show. But understanding the restrictions of the house, that wasn't going to happen. Page, though, has directed a delightful cast and assembled an energetic powerhouse show. But I'm only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you'd like to see Ain't Misbehavin', I'll leave a link in the description where you can get tickets. You can support my channel by becoming a patron over at Patreon. I'll leave a link for that as well. You can also support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be the new Broadway play, Fat Ham. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the theater.